friends and coaches and parents, they say things to the refs or maybe they like say something to your coach or something like that. So there is positive sportsmanship also. Um, positive sportsmanship is competing fairly with a positive attitude when winning and losing when re and respecting others. So winning and losing, you need to have a positive sportsmanship. So if you lose a game, you congratulate the other team, tell them good job. But if you win a game, make sure you tell the other team like you did. Like don't don't be cocky, I guess. Positive sportsmanship includes effort, cooperation, and positive attitude. So always give a positive attitude, even if you win or lose. Cooperate with the refs, even if they're really bad or your coach is making you mad, make sure you always have a positive attitude. Strive to improve, even if you, I, it is really hard to work really hard during a game and end up losing, but don't take it out on your team or the officials or the other team. Just make that, strive to improve, make it so it's making you better, it's not making you worse. Courage and maturity, um, Kind of these two things is a big part of sportsmanship that you have to have if you have positive sportsmanship. I believe that everyone should have positive sportsmanship because if you're on a team, your team will look up to you, you'll be a leader, they'll want to be like you to help lead the team. Your community, your, the community, your school will respect you. It'll make your school look better. It'll make your town look better. Authority, so like teachers and coaches and parents and fans or whatever, they'll all respect you more. They won't. They'll just have like a more positive attitude towards you. So positive sportsmanship also like includes life skills that you We'll have like um, group leading and communication and stuff like that. If you have posi positive sportsmanship, it can help you in school. So it can help you, maybe if you have a group project, it'll help you work with your group better or it'll just make you work that much harder on your project. It can also help you become success successful in the future, make you work harder just like in school. So next time when you're playing sports or you're in some sort of competition and you get really, really mad or and you just want to do something like the guy did in that video I showed you, <laughs> instead of doing this, do this and you'll get success in your future. Well done.